pal a man let do a grand right and left right and left around the ring walk on the heel and toe do side do what you lady fair and I'll promenade her around the square promenade that mountain promenade now the head couple forward you come back to the ring you pass through and separate around the outside ring come back home and go to do it to your corner alamando come back to your partner you swing them round and round alamando left on the corner now you walk right by your own you swing the right and left well good morning mr wetbacker yeah. oh uh, well well for the lane sake professor fisher way uh-huh. lane negotiation you're getting to be quite a stranger around here meeting for months of sundays yes we had a very busy semester up at the academy well uh, oh, it's uh, yeah. oh. Oh, uh, just a second, Fessy. There's Abba calling me out here. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, hold your dead during horses. I'm coming, coming, coming. Yeah. Hold your tongue, son. Let me tell you something. Oh, yes, sir. Well, yeah. 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 Ah, Mr. Peters. You're doing a little carpenter work. Oh, how do you do, Professor Fiskaway? And now we're going to make an airplane. Yeah. An airplane? Dear me. You don't mean to say you aspire to be an aviator. And do what? Aspire. Aspire, you, uh... Well, I do on warm days. You know, well, I say, Professor you... Thistlewaite, uh, maybe you can give us a hand here. Yeah. Um, I got a book about flying from the library, but um, I can't seem to get much out of it. Uh, how does an airplane fly, anyhow? Well, uh, I'm not an aviator, but I understand the theory. Uh, in the ordinary airplane, we have one or more parallelograms propelled by an internal combustion engine. Yes. As the forward velocity increases, there is a corresponding increase of pressure upon the parallelograms to a point where gravitational attraction is overcome. Oh. Is that clear? Yes. Uh, y- yes, that's clear enough, Professor, but, um, but what I want to know is how the darn thing flies. Yes, how does it get off the ground? Yes. But that's precisely what I've explained to you. Here, now take a parallelogram. Well, uh, you take it, Ebb. I'll take it, but you have to pay for sending it. No, no. A parallelogram. An, an oblong surface. Oh, yeah. Assume it moves forward at an increasing velocity. Now, as there... With what? Velocity. Velocity. You know what velocity is, don't you? Yes, uh, sure I do. When I was a kid, I used to ride one. Oh, but you don't ride velocity. No, of course you don't, dear. Certainly not. What you rode was a cyclopedia. Oh, for heaven's sake. People don't ride cyclopedias. They don't. You're talking utter nonsense. They don't ride cyclopedias because they... Because the pedals hurt their feet. Exactly. Because the pedals hurt their feet. Oh, the pedals don't hurt their feet. There aren't any pedals. A cyclopedia is a book. A Uh, book of... Well, uh, now, just a minute, Professor. We ain't interested in books. You see, uh, we want to find out how an airplane flies. And that's precisely what I'm trying to tell you. Now, as I say, the plane moves forward with increasing, uh, increasing speed. As it does so, the increasing pressure buoys you up. Uh, how's that? Boys you up. Boys you up. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, you bet I do. That's what Mole Ben used to say in the morning. Boys you up. No, not boys. Not boys. But that's what you just said. Yeah. Oh, very well then. Bowie. Uh, what? Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. Uh, uh, what you trying to do, scare me? No, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you how the plane leaves the ground, how it overcomes the force of gravitation. Well, uh, just a second. Um, just what is this here uh, gravitation, Professor? Do, do we have to put that in the airplane? No, no, certainly not. You must know what gravitation is. Mm. For instance, uh, you couldn't leave the Earth, could you? And go out into space? No, of course I couldn't. Well, there you are. Now, why couldn't you? Because you've got to stay here and mind the store. Oh, no, no, that isn't right. You Well, it certainly is right. Say, I'd like to know who's going to run things if I go gallivanting off into space. But I'm talking about the laws of gravitation. Oh. Haven't you ever heard how the laws of gravitation were found? Yes. Yeah. I didn't even know they'd been lost. Oh, I mean how they were discovered. You've heard the story of Sir Isaac Newton, haven't you? Yeah, I've never heard that one. Well, 
He was seated under an apple tree one day, and an apple fell and struck him on the head. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What struck him on the head? Eh? <laughs> say, that's a pretty darn good story. Oh, yeah. well, anyway. See that, Eb? Yeah. Uh, say, did you ever hear the one about the two Irish fellows? Oh, yeah. Tell them that one, Zeb. That's a dad, oh, very funny look, one, too. <laughs> no, but, but, but look, yeah, I'm not yeah. telling you a funny story. Yeah. No, I'm endeavoring to explain gravitation. Now, when this apple fell, what do you think Newton discovered? A worm in it. Oh, he didn't. He discovered the law of universal gravitation. Discovered that every atom in the physical universe attracts every other atom. Attracts uh, what? Atom. Atom. Yes, you know, Eb. Atom. That was Eve's husband. Oh! Well, uh, was Adam and Eve I... flying the airplane? No, no. I... Oh, I... Say... Oh, never mind the airplane. I... I don't know anything about airplanes. Uh, well, it took you a long time to find it out. Yes, wasting our time, a lot of foolish talk. we got to get busy building this plane, Professor. Come on. Well, now, uh, uh, yeah. may I inquire if you intend to build it out of this lumber here? Yep. It looks rather heavy to me. Well, that's what this book here said to use. And what do you propose to make the propeller out of? The what? The propeller. Well, uh, you mean that there fan thing up in front? Yes, if you prefer to call it a fan... We ain't, uh, we ain't gonna have any. You know, see, we figure when we get up in the sky, there'll be enough breeze without it. Oh, but I say, now you can't... Hey, did you I... want something, Professor Tessawade, or did you just come in to talk? You see, we gotta uh, get going on this job here yes, and get yes, finished. Yes, yes, I came for some information. A young new bride approached me yesterday about purchasing stock in the Barnes Universal Duplex Fire Escape Company. Yeah, but, uh, we ain't gonna buy none of the stock. That there Major Barnes is crazy. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I heard him speak at the Squidville Chamber of Commerce luncheon yesterday, and he impressed me as being a rather intelligent chap. Well, uh, what do you talk about? Oh, he discussed industrial problems, mostly steel and coal. Uh, how's that? I say he talked about steel and coal. Well, uh, how's the best way to steal it? Oh, oh that, Chuck, I... that Major Barnes is crazy. All is shooting off his mouth. On oh. the contrary. He's a very convincing speaker. He has the knack of bringing things home to you that you've never known before. Bringing things home to you that you've never known before, yes. huh? For example, he related an incident that occurred to him in Alaska. Now, although it was nearly noon, it was so dark that he couldn't see his hands in front of him. Because in Alaska... Shut up. That's nothing. I couldn't see my hands in front of me yesterday noon right here in Corn Center. Oh, come, come, Mr. Peters. It wasn't dark here yesterday noon. Why couldn't you see your hands in front of you? Uh, I had them in the pocket. Oh, but I'm talking about darkness. Major Barnes staggered along the trail in the pitch dark and bitter cold. Sixty below. He said that... Below that what? Below zero. Every step was tortured. Well, the he... professor, what zero? Nothing. Every step was... How much was... was it above? Why, nothing. Every step was tortured. And he had nothing... How's that? I, I, I said... I said nothing. Uh, nothing he but... He making uh, a lot of fuss about nothing, wasn't he? Oh, I say. Will you please allow me to finish the story? He... He... I, uh, oh, 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 yes, yes. He had nothing but one dog. And he covered the last 50 miles with no dogs at all. And do you know why? Certainly, because there was no hot dog stand. Oh, you fellows are impossible. Impossible. Well, it is. Oh, sort of rushes in and rushes out without no special reason, don't he? Yeah. Well, let's get going with this here, that darn airplane. Yes, yeah, yeah. you better get busy on it. Uh, all right, give me that board there and we'll start. Uh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Say, yeah, but, um, you know, the thing that sort of puzzles me is, is about bringing things home to you that you never knew before. Oh, shut That's nothing. There's been a fellow right here in Corn Center that's been doing that for years. Uh, you mean the preacher? No, the, the laundry man. Well, come on.